so much, Bishop. God bless you. Hallelujah. God bless you. We'll see you. Praise the Lord, everybody. Come on, you can do better than that. Praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How many is excited to be here today? Have you been blessed by this weekend? This has been one of the best weekends in my life. Hallelujah. How many know uh, uh, your greater is on the way? Your greater is right around the corner. Listen, if you don't realize the season that we're in right now, something's wrong with you. This is spiritual improvement season. This is spiritual improvement season. And if you don't get caught up in the spirit, you're going to get left. You better get right before you get left so you can walk in the spirit. God ain't doing nothing in the flesh no more. Never has he done it anyway. He's 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 ex Yes, he is extraordinary, but he he's exposing. He's uncovering. Because he is tired of these preachers and pastors hurting the saints, abusing the saints, standing behind the roster, hustling. But where the real man stand up? Where the real man stand up? And align himself with God's word. you to take your position take your position take your position if you was walking funny now it's time for you to straighten up if you was backing up it's time for you to get in tribe no more reverse for you have broken the curse tell the enemy he's a liar and he's under your feet I am a king I am somebody in Jesus name I don't care what my mother said, what my father said. All I care about is what Jesus said. I am who Jesus said I am. That's who I am. He changed my name. I ain't Miles in the spirit, but I am the Messiah of Elder. All days, my God, chosen from birth, the devil should have killed me. Your way, I would have been dead and gone a long time ago. Because people are so caught up in the flesh. But how many spiritual walkers I got out there? How many spiritual walkers I got out there? How many spiritual walkers I got out there? I'm talking about showing up walking in the spirit and not in the flesh. It's time to stop being so fleshly. And moving when you want to move. There used to be a time when people walked in the spirit. We got to get back to that time and stop doing what we want to do in God's house. That's why folks ain't being delivered. People preaching, falling out, and no change coming. But you got to preach in the spirit until a change comes. Because it's all about God's anointing. It's all about God's spirit. He's the one that's going to do the increase. No more of you, but all of Jesus and his spirit. It's not by your power, but God's power and his might that you'll be saved. Come on and tell him yes. Oh, yeah. I am 
I'm a king yes, sir. with a no excuse mentality. Yeah. Ain't never had no excuses. Amen. The first Adam was filled with excuses. He wanted to throw it back at God. Praise the Lord, honey. Oh, this woman you sent me made me do what I did. You did what you did because you wanted to do it. It's time that some man stand up and be accountable. Ezekiel 22 and 30 said, I sought after a man to bridge the gap and stand in there for my land. God told me, you elder, Miles Hammond Jr. are the man in the gap for New Day's men. Yes, I am. Hate if you want to, but God put me here for every man, every boy, every girl. They need to be an example of a holy man, young and cool.
got a big ego, ha. but guess what? Ha. Your ego gotta die, ha. so you can be more like Christ. Ha. Die out of self ha. and walk in the spirit. Ha. That ego gotta die. Ha. The pride of man ha. has got to die. Ha. I'm talking about spiritual awakening. We must overcome sin instead of trying to live within it. Awake and aware. When you awake and aware, sin's going to make you uncomfortable. Oh my God. What you talking about, Elder? When you sin, you will feel so ashamed. You're going to want to fall on your knees. <laughs> And say, Father, forgive me ha, because I'm awake and aware ha, and I know better. Ha, I'm a kingdom man. Ha, and guess what, kingdom man? Ha, you just feel different. Ha, you ain't walking like every other man ha, up and down this earth ha, without a purpose. Ha, for you got a purpose ha, to empower other men ha, to be saved, ha, to empower other men ha, to be different. Ha, come on and tell the Lord, thank you. We're just built different. Yeah. You gentlemen can only be who God designed you to be. I don't care what season you're in. You might be in the season of building your testimony. Guess what? Your ladder shall be greater than your beginning. You ain't doing nothing out there but building your ministry, building your comeback to Jesus story. Huh? How I used to be story. Ha. Remember when I did story. Ha. But God brought me out. Ha. Remember I was a crackhead. Ha. But God brought me out. Ha. Remember I was a fornicator. Ha. But God brought me out. Ha. Remember I was a thief and a robber. Ha. But God brought me out. Ha. You're just building your story. Ha. It's not over. Ha. Until God says it's over. Glory be to God. Amen. We got to understand in this very moment, ha, we got to be aware ha, and stop ha, pointing the finger. Ha. We cannot be like the first Adam ha, or the woman that you gave me ha, or this husband that you gave me ha, made me do what I did. Ha. Oh, my brother got on my nerves. Ha, so I had to go smoke a blunt. Ha. Oh, you need to quit lying. Ha. You did what you did. Because you wanted to do it. Didn't nobody tell you to lay down with five different women? Now you got five different baby mamas? You did what you did. Time to be accountable. Shake yourself and start all over. Come on and give God some glory. We serve a God who gives out ample enough chances. Every time you wake up with breath in your body, guess what? You got a chance, you got an opportunity to get your business straight with the Lord. Come on and clap your hands for grace and mercy. Awake and aware. Sin compromises progress by leading us to views of sanctification like a checklist. Oh, you know how you look. Oh, uh, look at him. He calls himself a minister of music, but he came in with jeans and shoes and a dress shirt. Oh, look at her. Her skirt is up over her knees. Look at her. Look at the brother. He ain't loving right. Look at the sister. She ain't talking right. But I'm talking right. Check. But I'm dressing right. Check. But I'm thinking right. Check. Guess what? No. Holiness ain't no checklist. Holiness ain't no checklist. That's drawn out on the paper. I do this. I do that. And I do that. I may wrestle with this, huh, but I do that. Huh. Holiness is about a lifestyle. Huh. A kingdom man huh, lives a lifestyle huh, that impacts huh, his whole realm huh, of purpose. Huh. Everybody surrounding him huh, is impacted huh, by his lifestyle because huh, he lives like a king. Huh. He provides, huh, loves his wife, huh, pays those bills, huh, cooks that food, huh, then make love to her. Huh, out his children, huh? Support him, huh? Yes, he does, huh? Cause he's a king. Yeah. 
Too many of us are walking around with a checklist. Ha. Oh, you know, Sister Plika do this, that, and the third. Oh, you looking at Plika. Ha. You need to take the beam out of your own eye. Ha. And look at what you doing. Ha. Don't worry about Plika. Ha. God ain't done with Plika yet. Ha. She's a few chosen ones. Ha. Holy and acceptable. Ha. When God's doing with Plika, ha. she gonna be doing what I'm doing. Ha. Preaching ha. under the power of God. Ha. Your story ain't over. Ha. It's just been written. Ha. Come on and say yes. Awake and I'm aware. I'm awake and I'm aware of my faults. I ain't worried about what you wrestling with, but I know I'm wrestling with some things. And prayer and fasting, that's how these things come out. Not by talking about it, not by getting on the phone, but staying on your knees, disciplining yourself, turning away your plate, crying out to God. Like David did, uh, lay prostrate uh, before the Lord uh, until your change come. Uh, I declare after a while, uh, your change gonna come. Uh, Cause he's a lifter uh, of your head. Uh, he's a lifter uh, of your whole body. Uh, God will do it. Uh, won't he do it? Uh, say yeah! Oh my God. I'm gonna preach a little bit. I declare God's decision for kingdom one men was to be holy, set free from the beginning. In the garden, Roy. Listen, Roy. We were supposed to be immortal. Get it now. Get it now, Get it. Mike. You think Michael Jordan and LeBron James got some superpowers? <laughs> They didn't have nothing on the first Adam until he fell. That's right. But how many knows with a fall comes a great rise? Because the second Adam had to come. That's right. And that second Adam was a quickening spirit. That same spirit that rose Jesus from the dead. That same spirit that said Lazarus come forth. That same spirit that had Lord tell you to say. 
There's too many kids walking around here stressed out. Come on. Show it. It's not their job to understand adult problems. No, no, it's not. No. A child is here to be nurtured, loved, guided by kingdom men and kingdom women. Yeah. It ain't their job to understand daddy ain't there. It ain't their job to understand mommy's on drugs. It ain't their job to understand we don't got no food. I know that's right. Plenty of times me and Drina had to fend for ourselves. Ain't that right, honey? Sure Taught me how to cook. Sure but I tell you what, I got some great parents. My father ain't the man he used to be. Right. My mother ain't the woman she used to be. Yeah. But they are faithful leaders yeah. who got a story yeah. that are sold out to Christ. Just a little bit where I come from. Huh? Can't forget about the first seed, huh? Bishop Moses Hamrick, huh? yeah. who is the beginning huh? of all. Huh? That's where the anointing came from. Huh? From the rooftop. feel like good ain't good enough. Some of them feel judged. They do, they do. Some of them feel misunderstood. Yes, they do. But guess what? I'm here for you, brother. I once felt judged. Amen. I once felt misunderstood. Amen. I once thought that God didn't love me. Come on, come on. But I'm so glad that I'm awakened. I'm so glad that I'm awakened. It's time for you to rise. It's time for you to rise, kings, uh, and separate yourself. Uh, come out from amongst them. Uh, you are a king. Uh, you are built different. Uh, you are chosen uh, to this royal family uh, to do God's business. And that's about the size of it. Only what you do for Christ will last. We gotta understand. You think you're the only one that's been hurt? There's great, powerful men in the Bible that have experienced hurt. How many of us has read the book of David? Come on, come on, come on. That a man experienced so much hurt, trouble and turmoil that he even caused his own self. We all walking around and thinking that we're the only one. Come on. We live in a day and times where people just commit self-suicide. Yes, yes, we yes, cannot yes. allow that to transpire in God's house. Yes, yes. We got to be there to encourage one another. Yes. We got to be there to pick one another up when we fall. Yes. We got to be there to tell the brothers, it's going to be all right. Yes, I may not understand, but God knows. Yes, and if you ain't got nothing to say, just say, I'm praying for you, brother. Yes. I'm praying for your life. I'm praying for your victory. I'm praying for your coming out. I'm praying for your steadfastness. I'm praying for you. Amen. To be steadfast. Unmovable. Always abiding. In the works of the Lord. For as much as you know. Your labor is not in vain. How many labors not in vain on today? Is your labor in vain, church? If your labor's not a baby, you need to give God some glory. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Only 
what you do for Christ will last. All right, listen. I got about three pages. How y'all feeling out there? Oh, I'm sorry, I got six pages. Yeah. I told my wife, honey, I got so much fuel, I don't know which way to go. But Joshua, I said, Lord, have your way. Yes, sir. Sometimes you got to go to the service and get in tune with the Spirit of God and say what God wants you to say. Then sit your tail down. Because after that, you're going above God. And ain't nothing being done. Just up there wasting breath, pumping and flapping your lips. Sit down and shut up. Say what thus says the Lord, kick the dust off your feet. They receive it. God bless. They don't receive it. Keep it pushing. And this season, God is looking for real men who are staying in the doctrine of Jesus Christ. God is looking for real men who are going to cast their plate away and give him some time. God is looking for real men who are going to discipline themselves in a world that is filled with chaos and ultimate distractions. That's what God is looking for, Roy. He ain't looking for you to say, Lord, I could have, but you know, I had to check my Facebook status. I would have caught the message, but I had to take a selfie real quick and post it to Instagram because I got my new hair done and God, I would have took those notes and I lunch Bible study, but brother John was texting me, showing me his new sneakers. These are the distractions. This is why I'm telling you, you have to be awake and aware. Sometimes you gotta just put your phone on do not disturb and get in tune with Jesus. Get in tune with his word. Get in tune with his selfies. You want his selfie to be the expression of your face. Yes. Do you get what I'm saying? Yes. You might be the last God that anybody can see. That's right. That's right. When people see you, do they see the God in you? Come on, come on, come on. Ask yourself that. Come on. Bishop said something to the young man yesterday. Talk about, oh, yeah, I'm 80%. Oh, man. 80, how many know 80% ain't good enough? No, no Listen, 99 and a half ain't good enough. You got to come 100% to Jesus. Cast your cares upon the Lord. Stop getting caught up in what family thinks about you, what your brother thinks about you. You better start thinking, what does God think about me? Is God happy with my lifestyle? Awake and aware. Is God happy with the way I live? Awake and aware. Uh -huh. Is God happy with my actions towards my wife? <clears throat> Awake and aware. Is God happy with my actions towards my husband? Amen. Are we one way on Sunday, then a different way on Monday? Come on, come on with it. Awake and aware. Yeah. Do not miss your opportunity to become the perfect design that God wants you to be. Come on and give God some glory. I want to do something that we never do. I want every man to please stand up. Come close to me. Come close to me. Lock a hand with a man next to you. Every man, every man, every man, every man, every man, I don't care how big the circle gets, every man, this is what God told me to do, every man, he's a baby, every man, God told me to tell you to forgive yourself. Forgive yourself of your past hurt. Forgive your father. Forgive your brother. Forgive your cousin. Anybody who hurt you, forgive them. You know why? Because they have power over you. And they're stopping your progress. 
God wants you to be free, man. God wants you to be free. William, forget about all the hurt in your past. The time is now to hit the restart button. Yes. Don't even think about all the hell and hurt and heartache that you've caused. You got breath. You got opportunity to make a new chapter. Yes. Yes. Every man, forgive yourself, sir. Yes. It's not over until God says it's over. Amen. Even the one of you that are hurt and don't even realize you got hurt. I'm asking God to go into that deep place where you hide it, where you're triggered. Forgive yourself, Charles. It ain't your fault you didn't know who your father was. It's not your fault. You was just the child. You was just the child. You got to forgive, love, and live so you can be the father, so you can be the grandfather. Do we understand that past hurts stops us from being great? And this rubs our purpose. Forgive yourself. You was raised hard. It's all right. It made a strong man out of you. Forgive all the hurt and pain that your family did to you, Ed. Forget about the backstabbing friends. The backstabbing family. That set traps and wanted to see you die. Forgive. Forgive. So you can live. Get up here, IJ. Oh, come on, man. You ain't escaping this opportunity. Get your tail up here. Get in this circle. I'm going to tell you something, sir. And I'm never going to stop telling you. It, not, it doesn't just so happen that God has given you all those talents, RJ. God didn't give them to you just to be given. God gave them to you because there's greatness in you. Don't nobody carry themselves like you, RJ. You have a heart full of love. You love to help people. You love to bring good joy to people. God ain't forgot about you, sir. Forgive yourself. It's okay. The choices and decisions that we made over our life. Because guess what? You still got the opportunity to make your wrongs right. Jesus loves you in spite. RJ. You're my little brother. You're special to me. You're special to me, Christopher. I love you. I don't care what choice and decision you make. I will never judge you, but I will forever pray for you. I will forever understand and be that ear. God loves you. Your mother couldn't have no kids. Y'all are not here just to be here. Y'all are major men of God. Y'all have to do God's will. Y'all got to preach next to your brother. Y'all got to preach with your brother. Y'all got to tell him, go ahead, sir. Go ahead. Forgive yourself. Forgive that man who hurt you. Forgive your father. Forgive your father. Forgive your mother. Whatever went on Tyro, God knows all about it. Forgive. Forgive, Jay. You're better than your father. You don't even know who he is, but I know you're better. Let that hurt go. Your story's not your friend's story. For you are the chosen few, Jeremiah. You can't, you're, you're just like me. You can't do what everybody else does and expects to get away with it. When I was your age, I couldn't get away with nothing. Everything I did, I got caught for it. me. Sitting in prison, everybody was stealing sneakers. I go steal sneakers, I'm in jail. You can't do what everybody else does. You're the few chosen. My beloved sons, Isaiah, the unique son, clean as a whistle. I tell you, son, you're so clean, your holiness is going to be even cleaner. You're a faithful young man. You are a faithful. You think 
God ain't smiling on you, Isaiah. You're one of my most obedient, faithful kids. This kid will give me anything I ask. He'll do anything for his father. Always got his dad's back. I don't got to yell at Isaiah. I just talk to my son. We got a great relationship. God is not through with you, son! You're going to be a great man of God, Tariq. Your story's kind of like my story. My dad wasn't a, wasn't a bad man. Him and my mom just didn't get along. Same for me and you. I wasn't a bad man. I wasn't there when you was young, but I'm here now. And I'm so glad I can dance on the floor with you. I'm so glad I can rejoice with you. I'm so glad I can hear you teach the word of God boldly. I'm so glad I have the opportunity to love you with every fiber in you. Any hurt I caused you, forgive me. Any hurt I caused you, forgive me, son. I love you more than you would ever know. Anything for you. Anything. Now you turn around and hug the man next to you and say, I love you and God loves you too. We are kings. We will be holy. We are kings. We will be holy. We are kings. We will forgive. We are kings. We will live. We are kings. We got a new chapter. We are kings. We got a new story. Yeah! The faithful few. The faithful few. Elijah the Bond. You know you're a chosen vessel of the Lord. Ain't no way around it. You were not here, but I'm calling you out in the spirit. Forgive. Let go of the hurt and live. Now pray my strength in the Lord.